And it's that global uncertainty that is expected to cool down the housing market next year. That's what one report is saying. As Kush Pantaki reports, it could be next year, could be a buyer's market, at least for a while. According to the Altus Group, subdued economic growth will take the sizzle out of Canadian housing starts in 2012. The company's October 2011 housing forecast predicts that deteriorating global economic conditions will lead to lower Canadian growth expectations. And that's going to constrain housing demand across the country, with the exception of Alberta, which is expected to see an increase in housing starts. Altus Group Chief Economist Peter Norman. We're coming off of a base, of course, where things are going pretty steady. That's nice. We're looking at a soft landing in Canada, much slower economic growth in general, uh, job growth, but not as strong as it's been for the last couple of years. All of that will come to play. The report also finds that increases in new house prices remain stable across the country and are in line with the general inflation rate in most provinces, again with the exception of Alberta, where there is little change, and British Columbia, where they are declining. Sonia Gulati, Economics. TD economist Sonia Gulati says Vancouver's numbers are skewed because of foreign investors, while Alberta's numbers are higher due to migration for all the natural resources jobs in the province. She adds that because 2011 was such a hot housing year, 2012 looks pale by comparison. But the market is actually being stabilized by increased immigration, especially in condo-driven cities such as Toronto. The issue is really they don't stay, usually don't stay in the condo for very long, especially if they're a family. Right. It's really hard to fit everyone into a bachelor size apartment. And so the, you start off there and then you move to the suburbs. So the concern is, is the demand for condos going to stay? And there is cause for concern on the horizon. Consumers should brace for an interest rate hike in 2013 with about a 10% decrease in house prices over the course of that year. Kush Panthaki, Omni News.